During a controversial appearance on The Andrew Marr Show this morning, Mr Verhofstadt said if any deal was voted down by the UK Parliament there would be a crisis in British politics and maybe a new government with a fresh position on Brexit. The European Parliament's Brexit coordinator argued it would be penalising citizens to continue without change in the areas of goods and financial services, but alter freedom of movement rules. And he said he was very worried about the issue of citizens' rights. After the show aired, he again used Twitter to head out at the negative consequences and asked people for their comments. Related articles Verhofstadt issues a stunning threat to Remainers Brexit revolt free movement must continue in transition, says Verhofstadt. He wrote, I discussed Brexit today with Andrew Marr from the BBC One. We must mitigate the negative consequences of it and build a close relationship. Citizens shouldn't pay the price. But first we must know what it is that the British government wants. What do you think would be best? Great to have your thoughts. And his Facebook page was soon besieged by desperate Remainers who mocked Theresa May and called on him to help stop a hard Brexit. Michael Rees told him, There is a large number of people in the UK who still want to be part of the EU. Please don't forget us. Anna Schiffer wrote, No Brexit, please. We have no idea about or crazy, ignorant government either. They are stubborn ideologues who are hostages of a few extremists and several newspaper proprietors. Antony Norris insisted, What the vast majority of us want is to remain in the EU, or at the very least, as a fully EA member but at the worst to retain our EU citizenship, preferably at no charge, as it is being snatched away from us along without human rights. Please help us. Only 17 million of a population of 65 million voted for Brexit. The referendum was only advisory. The constitutional requirements of the UK were not met in proceeding with Article 50. Stephen Moore even said he wished Mr Verhofstadt was leading the country, writing, If only you were the British Prime Minister Guy Verhofstadt. The choice is really simple. A soft Brexit would be a waste of time and the UK should remain in the EU. Whilst a hard Brexit would pose a severe threat to the economy and increase inequality. Neither May nor Corbyn have the guts to admit this. Brexit voter Stephen Sinclair admitted he had since changed his view because he voted without all the facts and predicted the decision would be reversed. He wrote, If we leave, the UK will be back in the EU within 10 years. Brexit voters are dying off and young will want to rejoin the EU. Speaking to the BBC today, Mr Verhofstadt said, what we want as a European Parliament is an association agreement and in this association agreement there will be a free trade deal inside. 